What's up guys, Mr. Game here. Welcome back to Project Cars 2. It's our first look at it. Um, just, just alone from that intro, it looks absolutely stunning. I mean, this menu looks so easy to navigate. No loading times in between switching them. I don't know what else we've got. What have we got here? We've got career mode. Obviously, I haven't started it yet. We'll hopefully do a little series on that. We've got quick play, which we'll be having a little look at in a second. Community. So time trials, compete online, set the fastest leaderboard times. And you obviously got your profile, controls, gameplay. Let's have a quick look in here and make sure that we're set up to the max. We are running the 1080 Ti, so there's no reason why we can't, especially at 1080p. What are we? No, it's not that one. What else have we got? Performance. Have a look. 74 hertz, texture high, yes. oh, ultra, ultra, pick crew all, ultra, no, motion bar low, detailed glasses on low, high, particle level, let's put that to high, particle density, ultra, right, that should do us, right, let's just get into the game, let's have a little quick play and see what we've got. Jumping straight into a quick race or set up a customized race weekend. If you're setting up a customized race weekend, you can decide on the skill and number of opponents, as well as set up alternative race settings, session settings, and rules and regulations. To speed up this process, you can also utilize motorsport presets to auto configure a number of settings that correspond to your selected presets and then tweak your preferred race weekend from there. Okay, okay, I get what you're saying. So it's saying here that we can go into motorsport presets. So if we press Y. Select from the list to quickly load event settings specific to that motorsport. Race length, of okay, I get it. You select your motor, motor event, and there's a. It picks out the cars and tracks suited to that. Uh, let's not do that. Let's have a quick look at the cars. What cars have we got? Yeah, I'm not worried about that, mate. I know we've got over 170 licensed cars, so let's have a little look. Alright, we're going to have to go for a Nissan. Oh, now do we go for the Nissan GTR Nismo or the GT3? The Nismo GT3, that thing looks a beast. Oh, you can change the livery on it, can you? So if we press X. That's on that one. Press X. Hey, there we go. I reckon we're going to have to. Let's go for the. Mm, no. Yes. That looks mean. Right. That'll do for us. Where's it gone? Select tracks. What tracks we got? Here's where you choose which track you want to drive. Tracks can be viewed either by location, with each layout of the selected track displayed separately, or alphabetically, with all track layouts displayed in a single list. Okay, so there's different sections to each track. I'm guessing that's what some of these different bits are. That's got a joke about that one, so that's obviously Rallycross, Dubai Autodrome, Donington Park. Let's just go for Donington Park. Let's just see how we get on. We don't want 10 laps. We want to have a quick review. Uh, laps, let's go for... Let's change that down to just one. One or two, two. We'll do two. Do two in the this end, guys. Time progression. Summer season. Low cloud. Can we change the weather? Yeah, we can. Let's, let's have a bit of... Oh, we've got snow. Heavy snow or blizzard. Let's go for a blizzard. Let's make it fun. That'll do. Save that. Let's just get right in into it. Let's have a go. So we're at Donington Park, guys, and we're in the Nissan. And we're in a blizzard, so um, I mean it's going to be hard to keep the thing on the track. We'll have a go. Two laps, I think we programmed it for. Let's see what she's like. Pre-race menu, you'll see 
see a list of all the participants. You'll also be able to view a detailed map of the track by selecting the map icon. If you need to, you can alter your car's setup as well as pit strategy before the race starts. Additionally, you can customize your head-up display layout and options to suit your personal style. Hit the start button. Here we go guys, we're in a blizzard. I don't think this is going to go too well for us. I'm going to try and keep the throttle down a little bit as we set off here. Make sure we don't spin the car out. Full throttle, come on. We're in 16th place. I really can't see too much ahead. Come on, take the apex. Oh my god, here we go. 15th place. Oh, there goes the back end. Throw the back end go a little bit there. Steering is on point. Even though I'm only playing with the controller. It really does handle just like a normal, normal car on the track. Definitely major improvements over the first one in Project Cars. I don't know if we're going to be able to get past anyone else. We're in 13th place, which is too bad. So we're breaking hard, come on. Chicane, little chicane. Oh, I've cut it. Should we cut that corner? This, these just sound amazing. The wall in this and the wall of the engine is just absolutely beautiful. Half throttle, now full throttle, come on. Come on, can we do him? No, too slow on that throttle. Ooh, a bit too late on the brakes there. Can we come up on the inside? Yes, we've got him. Oh, too much throttle, the back end's gone. Straight up, oh my god. Not another place, we lost. I don't know what difficulty this AI is set up, but definitely doing too great. Oh my god, they've got the back end again. Mind you, there can't be a lot of work in a blizzard storm. Come on, don't lose the place. I see him in that rear view mirror. Break too hard. I really want to know how well this is going to do compared to Forza Motorsport 7. Obviously, I've played the demo. You've got my videos up there if you want to go check that out. Um, demos don't really give a lot to go off by. You get two laps in either a Porsche 911, a Mercedes 2015 truck, or the Nissan GTR. So it's going to be interesting. I don't know which one's going to be my favourite yet, but as for a simulation game, I think we've got this on point at the moment. We'll try it in dry conditions after this and see if we can do any better in the same car. See how differently the car handles. Probably only keep it at one lap though. Otherwise this video is going to run on and on. Are we going to get him on this straight, are we? No, he's gone. Where did we end up? 13th, weren't it? Not too bad. Where did I come? Show us me. There we go, guys. 13th. Weren't too bad, considering that's the first go at the game, and obviously the race conditions were absolutely terrible. Let's go back to Race Central now. We'll switch the weather conditions, we'll put it to dry, and we'll see how well we fare. Hopefully we can get around that track a bit better and improve on 13th place. Right, so we have to do the race settings. Change that from Blizzard. We'll have a nice, nice clear sunny day. Save that. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Donington Park again in drive time. I've left it set at two laps. We'll probably just get the first lap out of the way and see what happens. 
Here we are again. Let's go for half throttle off the line. And go! We're in 16th place again. I suppose obviously when we're in career mode, perhaps we can do a bit of qualifying and improve that. Oh, this car handles completely differently in the dry. So a lot more confident giving it more throttle. Oh, and the flames out the side of the exhaust bed. Come on, on the inside. Oh, oh my god, he's just tapped me. He's thrown me off the track. Yeah, we ain't improving. Slowly does it. Oh, proper gutted about that. We were doing really well until that point. I can't even get it off the track. I mean, get it back on the track. Here we go. That's better. Right. Full throttle. See if we can catch up at least. It. Car has completely changed in his handling. Apart from my driving's probably got a little bit worse since that first go. Oh, there we go again. We've spun it out. Right, guys, we'll end that one there. I mean, there ain't really much else I can tell you apart from obviously the weather really, really does affect the handling of the car. I reckon we'll have a quick, quick little go at um, another car, and we'll see. Let's skip to the end. Oh, what's up with here? Frozen the pits. No, nope, all right. Return to race central. Let's see what other cars they've got. Let's perhaps try rally cross. Yeah, I will try the motorsport presets. Rally cross, IndyCar, GT, road, track day, endurance. Yeah, let's go for rally cross. They've given us the Escort RS 1600 to start with. What else is there? The Civic Coupe. The A45 RX, the Countryman RX, RX Supercar Light, the Renault Megan RX, or the Volkswagen Polo RX. Let's go for a bit of German Polo RX. What track are they give us? The Daytona International Speedway. Six laps? No, 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 no. We'll go for two laps. Oh, you can't change it. Well, let's just get to it. We probably won't complete all six lap guys, but um, we'll at least do two, so you get get a feel of what what it's like in the rally cross cars. get into this guys I know all about the joker lap so I didn't bother listening to that um, <laughs> let's hope we can keep the car nice and straight hopefully no wall taps or heavy crashes there we go oh a bit slow off the line there compared to the others a little further though oh we're going straight for the joker lap oh my god they've pushed me straight into that oh my god God, the handle. Oh, really, really sensitive. Jump, jump. On the brakes, on the brakes. Oh, into the tyres. Yeah, definitely going to have to get a little bit of practice at the controls for the old rally cross. There's the handbrake, there's the handbrake. That's better. Oh. Might have to tweak the steering settings a little bit for the controller because I don't think it's working out too great at the moment. I think that's why I'm having the issue of trying to keep it in a straight line. But every time I turn it, it does not happen. Oh my god, we're straight into the barrier. <laughs> well guys, I'm going to get a few more little practice sessions in this. And then I'm going to start the series up with the career mode. And we'll see how we get on from there. But please make sure you like subscribe and comment 
and let me know what you think of the videos even though the driving was absolutely crap catch you next time guys